<laughs> okay. Hey everybody. Got another sketch of Torque in here for you guys. This is another old one. This was a little while ago. It's a little 110 sheet, 9 by 12 uh, sketchbook. This cover is mixed media. I think it's Strathmore. Strathmore mixed media paper. And the, I think the intent was that like uh, the intention was that you could kind of design your own cover, but that didn't happen for me. So let's get into this. So I started this back in April of 2019 and finished it by um, July, 7 July. For some reason, every time I do these videos, I always forget what numbers corresponds to which month, but um, I have it now. So yeah, this first page is pretty rough. It's just um, kind of some filler stuff. We got some like garbage pail kid stickers, little beast boy sticker. It's not very uh, compelling yet, but um, this was, oh, this was back during a different, um, this is back during my printmaking class. Uh, this was a relief printmaking. So I was doing like puzzle prints and like carving to like wood and, and linoleum and printing with those. So here we're just seeing some kind of, uh, some of those early sketchbook page filler stuff. Ooh, funny little guy here. The collage dude. Ooh, this is a idea for a sculpture that I did for oh, my wooden mixed media class. Sorry, my Discord is going off. Making noises. No, just some, yeah. So a lot of this is pretty um dry. <laughs> We're not getting super compelling stuff here. Eh, not yet. I think there's, this is a pretty good one. So it was, I think there's a lot of um, rough stuff in here, kind of messing around. Lots of pen. This is back when I was trying to do a comic with my friend. It was about like our two little kind of funny self-insert characters in this kind of modern fantasy world. You know, there's like, hmm. yeah, there was a, like this one, I think I'm, I'm a soda wizard. He's like possessed by a demon. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> and then they were coming up with funny little dungeon creatures. This dude who plays the guitar. Some cool guys. So we're taking this comic, we were gonna take this comic class, but then it got canceled because the um, instructor, something happened, he, he came up and he couldn't teach it. Just too bad. So we, we were pretty excited about it. That coffee. Oh, yeah, see, this is this is my character. This is um the sword guy. Friend this is my friend's character. I don't know. <laughs> I would look like that. Um, yeah. Oh, I think we're yeah. The thing was we we're both called PJ. Like the letters PJ, and he was P, P also PJ. Two PJs. Here's some fun marker stuff. These are, I think these are actual alcohol markers. I'll start with this weird shadow right here. I think that's my shoulder. There's like a couple different light sources, so they're all kind of conflicting and making different shadows. This is, this is Bono. This is just some clean up stuff from when I was printing at home, doing some relief printing at home. Now, be frank, this is a, be frank's been a, an idea of my head for a while, and it's something I finally started using a while ago in um, one of my other printmaking classes. I didn't actually end up going with the um, be frank for this poster series, I ended up doing this, using this kind of warped hallway. Now here's the uh, mock-up for that comic I was talking about, um, Bach Hotel, Taco Bell, and uh, it takes place at this, this store called Sellers General, and these two guys, PJ, are going in, uh, well they're, they have ulterior motives, but they're going on the presumption that they're applying for jobs there. And then this guy who works here is like freaking out because no one's ever applied for a job there. <laughs> so he's trying to like put things together. While PJ and PJ are being stupid, basically. 
It was a, it was a funny little idea. It doesn't, it doesn't translate too well. It's definitely not <laughs> legible. I don't have particularly legible handwriting. I'm getting there. Oh, here are my attempts at album and some like humanizations. Little sausage guys. Again. This ended up not turning out too great, but it was it was a it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Dang, just left this page completely blank, huh? Let's see, where's my? Yeah, mark that. Yeah, I hate I hate blank pages. Here, how about this? Um, I draw my dog tickles. This is what he looks like. Oh, there he is. There's pickles. Got a little teethy like that. And he's got a little fat body. And he's like a little bit ripped. He's like got really muscular um, legs for some reason. Even though he's fat. Oh, there he is. He's my little boy. God, from the. <laughs> terrifying. Yep, there he is. Pickles. Yeah. Sorry about that impromptu drawing. I just don't like how he blank pages. What was I doing in the sketchbook? I, yeah, I think because of the sketchbook, I was taking um, several art classes. The sketchbook's kind of dry. <laughs> it's um, it's mostly just like ideas for sculptures and things, and those tend to, I don't tend to flush those out very much. And there's also a lot of just paint in here. Jesus, the taller tree. Yeah. like typical but a little tighter drawings kind of seeing more detail there there i don't know i like drawing this kind of like cutesy but a little bit gross um kind of animal guys so yeah, like this face is very cute but then there's this kind of like hairy squishy body this guy's definitely really weird looking oh, and this one's one of my favorites i love those hands These are more ideas for sculptures I was doing. There, the idea was that I would kind of make this kind of viewing gallery of creatures that would kind of watch students as they walked past this, um, kind of walked across this little bridge structure. Didn't kind of, didn't totally come to fruition, but there were attempts. Attempts were made. More bunny guy, and kind of pseudo chipmunk drawings. Oh, this is when I was walking my dog Pickles. There he is again. Little Pickle. Me and him were walking. Uh, there was this little, um, I think it was a fox that was following us. It looked kind of like, a, it seemed like either a cat or a fox. It had, I think his ears were too big for a cat though. And I think, I tried to take a, a video of it, but when I went back, and I thought it had, but when I went back to check it, it was, the video was gone, which I thought was, which kind of creeped me out at the time, because I was just kind of on edge. No, it, it wasn't really anything. Just a little crayon mini comic about my life. <laughs> God, what is going on? <laughs> I love some of my OCs that I never use. This is um Reed, and this is Roscoe. Uh, Reed's name used to be Radborn, but then I realized that's a terrible name. <laughs> it's kind of one of those names you you pick when you're 15, which is what I made those characters. Which is also, um, there were also animals back then. Not the people. There they are again. Oh, here's some fun stuff. Got these little animal guys. Yeah, these are some of my favorites actually. This, um, these tube animals with these kind of like visible interiors. is something I really enjoyed. I ended up integrating into some of my paintings. I've got a painting at school. It's in, um, it's in an exhibit that's, a. Uh, that has kind of these tube creatures. Oh, 
here's some mock, I was doing some drawings of these kind of jointed animals that I was doing for that sculpture project. They didn't really, they kind of fell apart. There was some structural issues with them. They're Sonic, um, from when that Sonic uh, trailer first came out. Man, there's a lot of Sonics in here, despite the fact that I don't know anything about Sonic. Now, here's some thing my friend gave me. <laughs> oh, this is for uh, another idea for prints. Uh, it was called Hot Singles in Your Area. It was basically this little pamphlet, uh, this print pamphlet of dating profiles, and it progressively gets stranger and stranger. Like, there's starts being this, like, dark presence in the background that kind of overtakes the, uh, thing. Oh, let me, let's see, let me see if we can find it. One second. <laughs> Here it is. Hot signals in your area. It's, um, it didn't go exactly according to plan. I ended up having to paint in. Uh, some of this text because it didn't print very well, but the relief printing and I'm not very good at it, especially with the small size It um, uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't communicate very well. So you're kind of seeing these people and this is kind of figure in the background Maybe That figure kind of creeping up Standing right behind this guy, which doesn't communicate well at all, but yeah, it was this was a fun idea It didn't um, this definitely isn't a good format for it though. And yeah, then he makes his own dating profile. <laughs> yeah. Well, moving on. Uh, more rabbits. I do draw a lot of rabbits. Just kind of weird, furry dudes. We've still got a lot of space in this one to go. Some some graphite drawings on brown paper. We're doing this um. You know Inkbox, those temporary tattoos? We were doing, um, our, one of the clubs was doing one of those. We were uh, basically doing them for free for students. And we had to come up with a bunch of different um, ideas for like possible tattoos they could pick from. And so these were a couple of my submissions. Um, this soda guy, arm, stuff like that. And here's my friend's drawing. My friend drew. I should, I should do this one. <laughs> it's my old character Rainbow Girl from when I was like six. Yeah, some more chimooks. Oh, and this is from another comic class. I, why did I take so many? I took another comic class. I never complete. I think I did like the intro comic and I never did anything else for it. Whew. Oh, this is a fun guy. I love creepy dudes. Yeah, here's this little comic. I was doing these. My intro comic was about my dog Pickles, who I, I just drew. But here, this is my little baby. My little pickle dog. Uh, just a bunch of mighty bean checklists. Little rabbit guy. Yeah, I used to be a furry. <laughs> Just letting you guys know that that's why I drew so many of these like weird human animals. I did have a brief, well, not not that brief. I, I did have like a legit furry phase when I was uh, in high school, and it kind of bled over because I'm I'm in college now, but I still draw a lot of kind of weird humanoid animals. Usually a little more. I don't know. I like to think that they're a little grosser than they were when I was like not like. Not like gross, <laughs> like like kind of dirty looking. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, like this kind of gross, like kind of just kind of distorted. Got this a lot of decapitation happening here. Yeah, this this sketchbook is really almost entirely pen. Animal behavior. I think that was a short film I was watching. Oh yeah, I was on a plane for some reason. I think I was going out to Hong Kong maybe with my mom. So you got animal behavior, late afternoon. These are little short animated films. One small step. One small step was very cute. It's about this girl who um, becomes an astronaut. 
Um, ooh, and this was when I was watching Fantastic Mr. Fox, which I love. I used to love that book when I was a kid. And then the, the movie came out, uh, like, ten years ago. <laughs> but I remember I was, like, it was a stop-motion thing. It was by that guy who made the Grand Budapest Motel. That, you know, that guy. Oh, jeez, what's his name? <laughs> um, uh, that director... He's the one who always makes those like pastels and, and there's a lot of white people there and he does stop motion, okay, whatever. <laughs> but he did he did um the, the Fantastic Mr. Fox movie and I thought it was so like so strange and so like a little bit creepy. Stop motion's inherently a little bit creepy. And then, but there was like you know some creepiness but also that like the texture of the fur was very like actual animal texture and I just found it like very like compelling and like really just funky and weird to look at. Okay, here's um here's Reed and Roscoe again. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, this was um some attempt at bringing Ros Reed back to his um animal roots. Reed and Roscoe back to their animal because Roscoe was a rat and then Reed was a rabbit, which is why their names are alliterative. <laughs> Oh, that was over the summer. I was um, babysitting my cousins, and we did like some comics together. <laughs> that one's so crunchy. And these are, I was doing these for a panel. I got commissioned to do a panel painting from a storefront. Uh, it was like a. Um, it was this group. This um art group called uh, Living Artisan Company and they needed uh, they kind of commissioned some artists to do a couple of panel paintings and I got selected to do that which is cool some micro comics don't, <laughs> don't know what that's about oh it's a little comic about this guy who eats a banana but it's got a face a uh, comic about when I got my wisdom teeth out It was, yeah, I ended up just talking to my mom a lot that day. Uh, for a comic about me walking my dog. So, there he is. He always tries to eat things off the ground, it's very close. Um, this is from Art Attack? Is that what it's called? Art, fi Art Fight, not Art Attack. Art Attack is that British kid show from like the 80s. <laughs> Art Fight. Yeah, and these were a couple that I did for some of the other people who were in it. I, yeah, you can see I did like all animal characters. But I just find those easier to do. Oh, yeah, we're at the end here. Let me grab these little guys out. One more. Yeah, tricky. Mm. So this is uh, this is my little Pride Month scene. It's June. So this is about, you know, kind of my experiences. This is a little personal, actually. I almost did. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I am happy. This in here. Is there like a... This in there? I think it's my home button. Oh, yeah, there's one more. Yeah. How to draw egg for dummies. It's a lot of these <laughs> silly little circle-ish with inner bean, outer blob. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> There's two steps of drawing an egg, and then how to draw pickles. Gourd. Add triangles. Nose and teeth. Teeth. Eyes and anger. Yeah. Pickles is a little angry boy. Um, little, little booklet I made out of a McDonald's thing. I've got like a habit of drawing on pretty much everything I can get my hands on. And I kinda hoard the materials, like I'll hold on to magazines and, and coupon books and stuff so I can do like goofy little drawings on it. Who are the nutty squirrels? Oh, wrong page. That's not the question. And I made this out of like paper that I got paint all over, so it's like barely legible. 
Following the success of Dave's Seville and the Chimooks, the Chimook song, 1958, jazz musicians Don, Don Elliott and Sasha Berland. Oh, sorry. No, oh, I didn't even. Oh, created the Nutty Squirrels. <laughs> created the Nutty Squirrels. I knew these two. Don Elliott and Sasha Berland. Uh, at first, just a knockoff Chimook group, but upon further expansion. Can I not read it? At first glance, just a knockoff Chimon group, but upon further inspection, a bit more musically sophisticated, exploring mostly bebop jazz. And they do up bebop. Yeah, and there's these two. Those are the two squirrels that are in the Nutty Squirrels. Squirrels charted with their single Uh Oh Part 2 and produced two albums, The Nutty Squirrels and Bird Watching. Give them a listen. Most of their songs are on YouTube. My top, uh, my top wrecks are, uh, uh huh. Uh oh, part one and two. Bye bye, Blackbird, Eager Beaver, and Diddy Bird. Diddy Bird. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, of course I, I love the Chimunks, but I also got into like knockoff Chimunk groups. And that's like the big one. It's the Nutty Squirrels. And they actually are pretty. They do have like pretty fun music. Uh, complete Guide to Real Artists. This one's not nearly as much right, reading. Johnny Paper Mache. She's actually on uh, YouTube as Ultimate Paper Mache. She's one of my favorite um, YouTubers. Cat Homemade Glue. Uh, she's also on YouTube. I'll link her um, channel. I don't remember what her channel name is. Uh, goose Mom. That's the goose that had babies um, near my college parking lot. <laughs> Crying Child at Target. Also another great artist. Yeah, great guide to real artist. Foon. He's my Foon Sham. He's my art teacher. He's actually not teaching, he wasn't teaching at, at um, on campus this year, but he, uh, he's probably gonna be back. Uh, five Line Skink I saw last weekend. I really should have thought about writing with black marker on this black material. The last one is you, whether you like it or not, which means you are a real artist now. Do with that what you will. <laughs> Uh, meet the artist, a soft center is by someone. This is going on longer than I thought it would. But um, I'll flip through this one, you don't have to read any one of these. This is, yeah, this is just about me. That's me, <laughs> my ideal form. The eye is like sliding off there. Ooh. Yeah, that. <laughs> okay, I might have to um, come back to that. Too bad. Stuff I like, stuff I don't like. Here's, here's a little album and a little uh, Pinky Malinky, some horror movies. I think that's, God, what is that? Uh, Creep, Scream, sorry, Creep, uh, Scream, and um, I think that's the Blair Witch Project drawn just very badly. <laughs> like, can you see that? <laughs> Crepes. Mm. I don't dislike many things. There's only two things here. Some stuff I carry with me. I keep in my bag. Snack, Flamingo, Lip Balm. Other info. Biracial slutty. <laughs> Here's another picture of me for your viewing pleasure. And my Instagram. I always put that on uh, zines because I like people to know what my Instagram handles. No. And I'll. Ooh, this is like a whole sketchbook unto itself. So here's another sketchbook, basically. Some. Some self portraits of varying success. That's not a great one. Charlie Brown. <laughs> this is kind of making fun of that last one. <laughs> the kind of, yeah, it's kind of like what that one felt like to me. These are very cute. I do always, I do dedicate this um, sketchbook to self portraits of varying kinds. Do you guys draw less self-portraits? I know, like I do a lot, but I think that's because I'm a little weird. I want to know if you guys, you know, comment below if you guys like drawing self-portraits. I know a lot of people, I don't know, it's kind of hard because some people feel really self-conscious about it, but I feel like I'm the one person that can't get mad at me if I draw them badly. <laughs> oh, I used to love drawing myself as uh, sock puppets. I think it's charming about Oh, sock puppets are just this like kind of strange version of yourself, just me again. I mean, they're all me, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm kind of of the personal belief that all art is self reflective and therefore, in some way, a self portrait. 
play, even if you're drawing a still life, that still says something about you, you know? It says something about where you were in the space, what you were kind of focusing on, like what you valued when you were drawing that. Like if you start drawing, if there's like a, a sculpt, if you're looking at a person and you're drawing a person, do you start with like a face? Do you kind of structure the whole body first? And that kind of says something about the kind of art that you're, oh Jesus Christ looks really bad. That says something about the, um, kind of the way you view art and the way you, your artistic process. Cause that, that is reflective of, you know, your own hand, your own ideas, your own values. But in the literal sense, like, do you guys draw like pictures of yourselves, or paint or, or sculpt? I can't imagine sculpting myself. Although I can't really sculpt that one. Jesus, this is long. <laughs> it's a little relief print. Yeah, these are, it's like, I like to make these little micro sketchbooks and just kind of fill it up real fast. Free ad space. I do have a pretty big forehead. Yeah, there you go. So that's all for today. I've got all my things, some little stickers and stuff stuck in there. And yeah, and some some more garbage for kids. But you know, thank you. Thanks for coming by, for watching. You know, leave a comment if you, you know, if you want to see a certain kind of video, you want to talk about something in particular. I could really use some guidance with what to talk about because I've just kind of been talking about whatever. <laughs> so yeah, um, subscribe if you want to see any more videos like this. I've got, um, I kind of do a lot of sketchbook tours because I do a lot of sketchbooks. Um, but I'm going to try working on some other forms of, you know, art media. You know, comment what you'd like to see uh, and give me some ideas. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, hope to see you guys, or hope that you guys will see me in the next video. Bye.